Hello everyone, welcome to Just Ask Jerry and today I'm going to be making a spaghetti, uh, a pasta dish. It's spaghetti with vergota and spinach and here I have uh, two tablespoons, about two tablespoons of olive oil and I'm going to take my onion and pour it in here, chopped up, a small onion chopped up. To this, once it is cooking, I uh, will wait until it's nice and golden and then what I will add is uh, I'm going to add some spinach that I've already chopped up and I'll show you that in a moment and after the spinach we'll add some ricotta, some lemon zest and we will pour the spaghetti into it. I right now have my water boiling and I will be adding spaghetti there. Here I have my spinach chopped already the best way to chop your spinach is uh, take eight ounce bag of spinach, slice it one way with the knife, then turn it and slice it the other way. So you just have a crisscross pattern. That's probably the best way to chop up spinach. Uh, a chopper sometimes doesn't really get through the leaves. What I'm doing here is I'm taking a lemon zester and I'm just scraping down this way. I'm going to need a half a lemon of lemon zest or half a lemon zest. So I'm going to be taking this and scraping it down and uh, it'll come out just like that. So just a half a lemon of that for your dish. Okay, so now that the onion is golden, I'm going to pour in my spinach. As the spinach is cooking, just add a little bit of salt and I'm using a uh, red pepper salt seasoned salt and uh, it gives it a little bit of heat but just use a very very small portion uh, maybe about an eighth of a teaspoon and add some pepper to it the black pepper will not be as strong as the red pepper but it does give it a nice taste so this is nicely sauteed. I'm going to be putting in my ricotta and that is about two cups of ricotta. And what we'll do is we'll just stir it into the mixture. If you have one of these choppers, it's a Pampered Chef chopper, it actually works pretty good. All right, let me find mine and uh, it gives it a nice way to just break it up. and work it into the spinach. Okay, this is almost done. Once I'm done, Combining the ricotta and the spinach together it looks amazing. The heat will also soften the ricotta. It'll be easier to work with. I used about two cups here and eight ounces of spinach and a small onion. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my lemon zest, a half a lemon of lemon zest. Combine that in here. There you go. Perfect. I think that looks good. It's just fine the way it is. See? Here's my here's my lemon zest. I will take that and pour it into the ricotta mixture, ricotta and spinach mixture. My pasta is drained. I'm using spaghetti, and I'll take it from here and pour it into the pan, and then twirl it around and mix it together. Here I have it, mixing my pasta with the ricotta and spinach. I also like to save the water that I drained the pasta from because if it is too dry, I always like to put a little bit of that added water. So try to put a pot underneath your colander and save some of that um, uh, boiling water. 
I'm going to add some here. I think this is a little too dry. So once I add that other water to this, maybe like a half a scoop, it'll get um, a little looser, not as, it'll be creamier. So here's the water. Let me just pour it in. You can actually decide how wet you would like it or how dry. I think that's good. Okay, and there we have it. Spaghetti with spinach and ricotta for us to enjoy tonight.